Mm -hmm. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Really? If it is your first time of watching me, hi. My YouTube channel is Our Amanda and Olivia's World. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Leave the, the comments down below. Share and like. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is if it is your first time of watching me, my YouTube channel is Amanda and Olivia Sword. Subscribe, please subscribe. Leave the comments down below. Share and like. So I'm here to talk about African students. African students shocked at this, at their first arrival. At their first arrival. They first of all shocked at the Asian airport because Asian airport, you hardly see somebody that is speaking English, that's language barrier. You hardly see somebody that is speaking English. So maybe if you ask them something, they will tell you that they don't understand it. They will not go and look for somebody that will translate it to English. So that's language barrier first. Language barrier first because they are speaking Turkish. So you cannot understand that the first time you cannot understand come or go. So even in their school, in their school, yeah, you cannot understand it. So then another one is they were shocked at school bus waiting for them on that day on their first day of arrival. You know, you hardly see it in Africa. If you got admission, if you got admission in your country. You will be the one that will transport yourself to that school. You will be the one that transport yourself to that school. But here, they will wait for you. They will be waiting for you in the in in their airport. They will be waiting for you to pick you up, so that you will not get stranded. That is the reason why they are doing it. So that you will not get stranded. So they will wait for you on the day of that uh, uh, on the day of your arrival. They will, that first day of your arrival, they will wait for you. Then when you arrive, they will pick you up. And put you in the hostel because the school fees you pay, you will pay everything. You pay everything, so they will take you to the hostel immediately. So another one is is another one is their environment. They will see their environment is very nice and clean. No noise. You cannot you cannot hear any uh, music instrument like you cannot hear any loudspeaker. Playing music or that kind of thing, no, it's not. It's not. You cannot see itself. Even if in your home, self in your house, you play music, your neighbor will come and knock your at, at your door and and tell you to turn down the vol volume of your uh, music. They don't like noise. They don't. Uh, they don't like noise at all. So another one, they were shocked at their taxi. You know, in Africa, may I? I'm using myself precisely. My my, my country precisely like Nigeria. If you if you want to board a taxi, maybe from maybe one kilometer, they will charge you very well. They will charge you, but here they have fixed their their they fixed their taxi. There is their taxi. They fixed the the money for taxi. If it is thirty five, like thirty five Turkish lira here, is thirty five Turkish lira. Or let's where you are going to is very far. It's very far. They will now charge you. But once it's within this Magusa here, they will charge you that amount, fixed amount, 35. That before before they are charging maybe 15 tier, from 15 tier is 20 tier, from 20 tier now is 30. Maybe sometimes they will collect 35. So they were shocked at that. If you change that money into Naira money, it's just more money. It's just a, when a, you know, it's just more money for now but before it's not small money so another one is atm queues there is no atm queues here once you just come you just cash your money and go away even in a bank you know in a bank there's no queue you just do your things they have machines if you want to pay in you just press the code number and just put the cash inside the, the machine that's all you go if you want to draw, withdraw, you go to ATM and withdraw. That's how. They have quick access for everything. So, they have quick access for everything. 
And another one now is their holiday. They don't joke with their holiday. They don't joke at all with their holiday. Their holiday, they take it serious. They can observe their holiday. They take it serious. And again, is their break time. Even if they are teaching, if they are teaching, they're lecturing, they will tell you it's break time. We are sitting and be receiving lecture. Before you know it, they will say it's break time. You will go for break and come back again. You will stay and stay and stay and you will go for break again and come back. That's how they do here. That's how they do here. And um, church service again. <laughs> church service. You know here now, it's only the whole Magusa is only one church. Only one church. Only one, uh, if you see small building they give, they give us. Only one building, small building. Dear, how many churches will do their ch church? Well, our own turn is in the evening time. So all the churches will go there and do. Or if you don't want to do, do, do if you want, if you don't want to do your church in that building, you can hire um, a hall. You can hire a hall. A hall you can hire. You cannot hire it totally to convert it into church. No, a hall you hire a restaurant hall. So only that Sunday. If you do your church from 8 to 12, then they will just convert it back again immediately to a uh, restaurant. We have cathedral here, but they, they, they are closed. We have a very nice churches here, but they are closed. They are closed. It's only one they open for us, and that one is small. And it's all the churches are doing their program there. So they were shocked at it, because they, they will be thinking that they will see many churches they will see even the mosque that is here, their own mosque. They don't attend it. They don't go it. If you, if you can see, you see just these uh, foreigners, those people that carry a uh, mosque on their head that you will see in their, uh, in, the, in their mosque. They don't go. They don't go to mosque. They, they stay on their own. They just be on their at, at home, do their own prayer. So that's what they were shocked at. So... They love foreigners too. They love foreigners too. So they we are very nice people. If you can understand their language, they are very nice people. So Cyprus are peaceful people. They are peaceful people. So they don't have any problem here. Even loneliness will kill you here. That when I arrived for the first time, oh, loneliness wanted to kill me. Loneliness. You will be, you will stay, your neighbor, you will not even know your neighbor. You not even see your neighbor. You not know your neighbor's name. Nothing. You can't even go to your neighbor and knock at the door. And your neighbor can't, can't even come to. Especially if it is white people are living are your neighbor. Especially if it is white people are your neighbor. Loneliness will kill you. When my brother came, uh, came, came in, in this country. So, he now said that he wants to live in in the hostel, a Green American University hostel. Okay, when he went there. <laughs> Do you know that he now ran away? He ran back to us and live with us because he said that loneliness wanted to kill him. Even, even, can you imagine? He's even living with his fellow blacks, but still loneliness because here, mind your business, mind your business, stay on your own. Let me stay on my own. That's it. So that's the reason why they were shocked. It's not what they are expecting. They see, they were shocked that that quick access, ATM, no queues. Uh, they pick them up from a uh, airport. They pick them up from airport. So their hostels are very well equipped and very clean and nice. So the environment, school environment, very neat. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave the comments down below. Share and like. See you 